Hello there once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a number of different calculators to take both logs and anti-logs. There are two different types of logs I'm going to show you today. One is the common log, represented with L-O-G, and the other is the natural log, represented with L-N. I'm also going to show you the anti-logs that go with them. Now, the common anti-log is represented by a 10 raised to some number. And the natural antilog is represented with a lowercase e raised to some number. Now don't confuse this with the uppercase e. It's actually a completely different thing. And I'm going to show you the difference here on all six of our different calculators. We'll begin with the TI30X2S. To take the common log, we look for a button on the calculator that says LOG. That's here in the upper left. We'll press it. It gives us LOG parentheses. So what we need to do is enter the number we are trying to take the log of. So we'll say 100. Close the parentheses by pressing the close parentheses key to show that we're finished. And press enter. That just gives us 2, which is the right answer. To take the anti-log, we actually use the same key because you might notice that above the log key we have 10 raised to the x right above it. That's the same thing as an anti-log. So we'll clear our screen and we'll press second to reach the blue text and then 10 raised to the x. This adds 10 raised parentheses on our view screen. So inside the parentheses we just say 3 because the 10 has already been placed for us. Now close the parentheses and press enter. 1000. This is the correct answer. To take the natural log, we use the button right below common log. So we'll once again clear our screen. Press the LN key to take the natural log and inside of here we have 2.0 so we say 2.0. Close the parentheses to show that we're finished and press enter. This gives us 0.69314. We'll just say 0.69. That's close enough for our purposes. To take the anti-natural log, or the lowercase e, make sure that you don't hit the uppercase e in this case. What we want is the blue text right above the ln that says e to the x. Clear our screen, and we'll say second, and press the ln key to reach the e raised to the x button. Now we just enter the number that is above the E, negative 2.0, close parentheses, and press enter. And we get 1.353, which I've rounded up to 0.14. I'll show you how to use these calculations in the TI30XS. To do the common log, we look for a button that says LOG, that's right here under the second key. So we'll clear our screen and press LOG. And then we'll enter the number 100 because the open parentheses is placed for us. Close the parentheses by pressing this key here and press enter. And we get the answer to exactly what we were expecting. To take the anti-log, we use the same button. You might notice in the green text we have 10 raised to the x. Turns out that's the same thing as the anti-log. So we'll clear our screen and we'll say second and press the log button. You see what it does. It gives us the number 10 and then a box right above it to show that an exponent is coming. All we have to do is enter the exponent in that position, that's 3, and press enter. This gives us 1000. That's the correct answer. To take the natural log, we look for LN on the calculator, that's right below the log button. So we'll clear our screen again, and press the LN key to take the natural log. The open parentheses has been placed for us, so we'll say 2.0. Close the parentheses by pressing the close parentheses key, and press enter. And we get 0.693, which I've rounded to 0.69. To take the anti-natural log, you might notice that right above LN is e raised to the x in green, that's the same thing as the anti-log. So we'll clear our screen and say second, e raised to the x, 
This places the lowercase e and then a number above it. Now, once again, do not try to confuse this for uppercase e. It's a completely different thing. So if you pressed times 10 to the n, that would not be the right key to press right now. Now we'll just enter our exponent, which is negative 2.0, and just press enter. We get 0.1353, which I've rounded up to 0.14. For those of you using the TI-36X Pro, to take a common log, we have to find a button that says LOG on it. And it's up here, underneath the key that says second. If you press this key once, this actually gives you LN, natural log. We'll have to press this key twice to get LOG log. After that, we can enter the number 100, the number we are attempting to take the log of, close the parentheses, and press enter. That gives us the number 2 as our answer, which is the correct answer. Now to take the anti-common log, let's clear the screen, and we'll see that we have a 10 with a box above it right here on this key underneath the logarithm key. However, note that it is written second, so we must press this key twice. If we press it once, we get lowercase e. That comes later. Press it a second time, and it gives us 10, and then a box above it. The exponent we are attempting to use will go in that position. So we simply have to place a 3 inside the box, press to the right on this oval to escape the exponent, and press Enter. That gives us 1,000. That's the correct answer. Clear the screen. Now to take the natural log, we just have to press the logarithm key one time placing the ln on the screen, and then we can enter the number, 2.0. Close the parentheses, and press enter. This gives us 0.69, as we were expecting. Clear the screen one more time. To take the anti-log of the natural log, we go to the exponential key. If we press it once, we get lowercase e. If we press it twice, we would have gotten the 10 as the base rather than the lowercase e. I'll clear that, and we'll press the exponential key once for lowercase e. We'll enter negative 2.0. Now press enter. And we get 0.135. We round that up to 0.14. For those of you with the TI-83, here's how you take a logarithm. To take the common log, we look for the button that says LOG here on the left side. Press the button to place the log into the calculator along with an open parentheses. All we have to do is enter the number 100 as it says here. Now close the parentheses using the close parentheses key and press enter. We get 2 as our answer. To take the anti-common log first we'll clear the screen and look for a button that says 10 raised to something. It turns out that's right here above the log key in the yellow text, 10 raised to the x. So we'll say second to reach the function in yellow and then press the log key and now we have 10 raised parentheses in the calculator. All we need to do is enter the number that comes after the 10. So now we place 3. Close the parentheses and press enter. That gives us 1000, exactly as we expected. Clear the screen again. Now to do the natural log, or LN, we look for a button on the calculator that says LN. That's right here on the lower left, so we'll press LN. That gives us an open parentheses, and we'll enter the number, 2.0. Close the parentheses, and press the Enter key, and this gives us 0.693, which we round to 0.69. Now, to get the anti-natural log, or the E exponential, you might notice that right above the LN key, we have E raised to the X. So we'll clear the screen, and to get to the E to the X, we'll say second up here, and then E raised to the X. Now we have E raised to something. All we have to do is enter the number that's above the E in this expression, negative 2.0. Close the parentheses and press enter. 
and we get 0.135, which we round to 0.14 right here. For those of you using the TI-84+, Plus, in order to take a common log, we'll need to find the button on the calculator that says LOG, and that's here on the left side, LOG. Press the button, and it will say LOG, open parentheses. All we need to do is place the number that we're trying to take the log of. We'll say 100, close the parentheses, and press the Enter key here in the lower right, and we get 2. That is the correct answer. Now to take the anti-common log, we're going to look for a button that says 10 raised to something. Well, That's right here. A little bit hard to read because it's written small, but in the blue text above the log key it says 10 raised to the x. So to take the anti-log, we'll clear the screen, we'll press second, and then we'll press the log button. Now on the screen, it now says 10 raised and then parentheses. All we need to do is place the number that is above the 10 in this expression. So we'll say 3, close parentheses. Now press enter, and our answer is 1,000, exactly as we expected. Now to take the natural log, we need to look for a button that says LN. LN is this button right underneath log. So we'll clear the screen. Press the LN button to take the natural log, and our number is 2.0. That's what we're going to enter next, 2.0. Press the close parentheses key, and then the enter key. And we get 0.693, which I've rounded to 0.69. Now to take the anti-natural log, or the E exponential, you might be able to see in the blue text right above the LN, you've got a button that says E raised to the X. So to use that operation, first we'll clear the screen, and then we'll say second, the blue button, and then when we press the natural log key, we have E raised to something. All we have to do is enter the number after that parentheses, negative 2.0, close the parentheses, and press enter. Our answer is 0.135, which I've rounded up to 0.14, exactly what we expected. For those of you using the TI-89, the way to take a common log is really not obvious at all. In fact, most of the time you'd probably have to look this up, but I'll show you it now. To access the common log, we press the diamond key in green, and then the number 7 here on the keypad, and this inputs LOG log into our bar. After that, we can type the number we're attempting to take the log of, and then the close parentheses key here and press enter. And we do get the number 2 as we expect. To take the anti-log, we don't really have a very convenient key for that, so the best way to do that is just clear the entry bar and take 10 entered manually, and then press the caret key here, or the raise key, to show there's an exponential coming. Then enter 3 and press enter. This still gives us 1,000 as we expected. Now to find the natural log of something, it turns out we do have a perfectly fine button for that. You might be able to read it above the letter X here. In the blue, you might be able to see LN above that. So let's clear the bar by pressing clear, press the second key, and then press the X key here. And now LN is inside of the bar, as it should be. Now we'll enter 2.0, which is the number inside the parentheses. Close the parentheses using this close parentheses key, and press enter. And we get 0.693, which we round to 0.69. To do the anti-natural log, or lowercase e, again this may be a little difficult to see, but under the x right here, in the green text, you have a little tiny e raised to the x. So I'm going to clear the screen one more time, press the green button, and then press the x key again, and that gives us e raised and then a parentheses. Now we can just enter the number that's above the e in this expression, 
negative 2.0. Close the parentheses and press enter. And we get 0.135, which I round up to 0.14. Not as easy as some calculators, but still possible. Thank all of you for watching. We'll see you again next video.